When it comes to his advice on waking up in the morning, Ben Franklin was wrong. Early to bed, early to rise does not constitute a universal recipe for health, wealth, or wisdom, and it simply doesn't work for everyone. It does work for a lot of people though, and I am one of those early morning people. Every morning this week, I've actually gotten up at 4.45 in the morning, which is kind of an insane time to get up, but it works the best for my current goals and my energy levels, so I get up at that time. I know a lot of you guys want to establish your own habits of waking up early as well, but you're finding that when the alarm goes off in the morning, it can be really tough to get yourself out of bed. So what I wanted to do with this video is give you as much ammunition as I possibly can for building a consistent habit of waking up early. Now, in my mind, there are four specific elements that go into making this habit a successful one, and they are getting enough sleep, having a compelling reason to wake up in the morning, having what I like to call an automatic wake up response, and getting help from apps and other people. Now, I think we talked enough about getting adequate sleep in the previous video, which was how to get to bed on time, and when you're trying to wake up at an early time in the morning, really it is getting to bed on time that is the crucial factor here. So I'm not gonna talk too much about this, uh, this first part of the equation here, but check out that video if you missed it. So let's go into the second part of the equation, which is having a compelling reason to wake up in the morning. So if you take a second here to delve into the archives of your mind, I'm sure you can remember a time in your life when you were extra super motivated to wake up early. It could have been for a positive reason, maybe it was your birthday and you really wanted to open your presents, or it could have been for a bad reason, maybe you woke up and you realized you were late for an exam. The point is that there are things that are sufficiently motivating to get you out of bed no matter how early it is. And you can take advantage of this fact by establishing a compelling reason to get out of bed in the morning. That is, having something you're really excited to do the moment you wake up. And I think it's important to talk about this because a lot of people who want to wake up early are doing so so they can establish morning routines. They're really ambitious. They want to have this routine of habits and activities that drives them towards long-term goals. But the thing about long-term goals is that the rewards don't always come right away. So it's not always enjoyable to do everything in your morning routine in the moment. And when your morning routine is filled with these kind of habits, it's not exactly exciting to get up. So if you can add at least one thing to your morning routine that you really truly enjoy doing, something that's fun, it's gonna be so much easier to get out of bed. To give you an example, one of the parts of my morning routine used to be to get up and go for a half an hour walk with my favorite daily podcast. And because it was daily, I knew I could wake up every morning and look forward to a new episode, which made me really excited to get out of bed. So the third part of the equation here is to go through what I like to call an automatic wake up response the moment your alarm goes off. And in particular, I think your automatic wake up response should be to jump out of bed immediately. And the reason that doing this works so well is because in the few minutes when your alarm goes off in the morning, your brain is kind of at war with itself. You've got like the rational part that makes long-term decisions and plans, and it's kind of fighting against this more instinctual part that just wants to go back to sleep. And if you can get out of bed right away before your brain even has time to come up with an excuse for why you should hit the snooze button, then you're gonna be a lot less susceptible to those excuses. Okay, so now we've come to the fourth part of the equation, which is to get help both from apps and tools and other people in case you're unable to build the first three parts of the equation into your habit on your own. And I wanted to give you some app recommendations up front, and these app recommendations come in two different categories. One is an app that helps you get up more easily, and then the other apps are kind of like annoyance apps that just basically won't shut up until you do a specific thing. So let's talk about that first category first. I only have one recommendation for you here, but a lot of people recommend it in the comments, and it's called Sleep Cycle Alarm. And what it does is it uses your phone's accelerometer to measure your movements throughout the night, and then it uses that data to figure out what your personal sleep cycle is, and it tries to wake you up at the end of one of your sleep cycles so you feel more rested. On the other end of the spectrum, we've got the apps that basically try to force you out of bed by not turning off before you fulfill a specific requirement. And there are a lot of these. I'm just gonna give you a few recommendations here, but there are definitely more. Uh, one of them is called Spin Me, and it makes you spin around in circles before it turns off. Another one's called Step Out of Bed, and it's kind of like a pedometer app. It makes you take a certain amount of steps before it turns off. There's an app called Alarmy that makes you go take a picture of a specific item in your house that you set beforehand before it'll turn off. And in a similar vein, there's one called Barcode Alarm, which makes you scan a barcode that you preset. There's also Math Alarm Clock and lots of other apps that are very similar, which make you solve math problems or logic puzzles before they'll turn off. And hey, None of these apps end up working. You can always build your own version of Colin Fergie's ejector bed, which is probably the most effective method of getting out of bed ever devised. 
But if early morning concussions aren't your thing, there is one more thing you can do, which is to form an accountability group. If you can find people who have the same goal as you, who also want to wake up early, then you can all team up and keep each other accountable. And while you can find people on your campus or in your local area to team up with, there's also lots of ways to find people online who would be more than willing to join a group. I actually found a couple of subreddits that are entirely dedicated to waking up early, so you could check those out. Or if you wanted to, you could post a thread in the College Info Geek community, which I've got linked down in the description, and I'm sure many, many people would want to join you in this crusade. Once you've got your group established, there are a ton of different ways you could keep each other accountable. Just a couple of ideas for you here. Number one, if you guys are all in the same time zone or a similar one, you could actually set up an early morning conference call. You could do something like Skype or Google Hangouts, or if you want to use your phones and there's more than two people, you could use freeconferencecall.com. And basically, you just have a call every single morning to ensure that everyone's awake. Alternatively, you could just use a habit tracking app like Habitica and you could all party up and then create a challenge for waking up early. That way, each person has to wake up early and check off the box. Otherwise, they will hurt everyone else in the group. And let me tell you, that's pretty motivating. So those are the tips I have for you in this video. And there's one thing I wanted to talk about before I go. And it's what I alluded to in the intro, which is that you don't have to wake up early to be successful. It's not a prerequisite for it. And that's why even though this is a video about how to wake up early, I didn't spend any time trying to persuade you to do so. And that's because people are simply wired to have different sleep schedules. And there are plenty of successful people who go to bed really, really late. So Ben Franklin was wrong, and there was actually a 1998 study published in the British Medical Journal that proved it by comparing late risers to early risers. And they found that there was really no socioeconomic differences, no cognitive differences, no livelihood differences. Really, it's kind of the same, and people who wake up late actually have a few advantages over people who rise early. So my real recommendation for you in this video is to pay close attention to your body's energy levels and figure out at what time of the day you do your best work. If you do really good work late at night, then go to bed late and wake up late. And on the other hand, if you do really good work early in the morning, then you can use the tips in this video to take advantage of those early morning hours. So hopefully you find this video useful. What I was kind of trying to do with this video is to create a more comprehensive resource for building the habit of waking up early. And I gotta say the article I wrote for this video is actually even more detailed than this video itself is. And there's even more resource links. So check it out in the card on screen right now or in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, then you can give it a thumbs up to support this channel. And if you wanna get more tips on being a more effective student every single week, you can click that big red subscribe button down below. I also wrote a book on how to earn better grades. And if you would like to get a free copy sent to your email, you can click the picture of the book right over there. And in last week's video, we talked about how to get to bed on time and how to figure out what your bedtime should be. It's actually a pretty good companion to this video. So check it out if you missed it. Once again, if you want to check out that full blog post with lots of extra details and resource links, you can click the full article button right there. And if you'd like to connect with me, all you need to do is go into your bathroom, turn off the light and say Bloody Mary into the mirror three times. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.